Living life like this Gotta paint a picture when I write like this Tales from a hood, not a sight like this Where they get the no good on a night like this and they Yo, what's going on squad? Welcome today everybody to the first Let's Play series, I guess, whatever, walkthrough, playthrough, whatever you want to call it on this channel here, the C-Money uh, Plays channel, yeah. So, today, we're going to be playing through uh, Red Dead Redemption. I'm going to just play like three hours of it and then split it up into like 12 to 20 minute segments. Probably like around 15 minutes-ish, maybe 20. If you want a more extended, let me know. I can extend them. I'm going to play for like two hours here and just cut it up, like I said. Um, one of the things I wanted, like a point that I wanted to tell you guys is one of the things with YouTube gaming now is it's so like highly edited and everything, which is good. That's very entertaining. But something that you lose with that is just like the real realism and the sense of like connection there. And like the game in general, like the game's feel in general, like you're missing most of the game if it's all cut up. So, I mean, just a little bit of my take from that. Yeah, and I love cut up videos and everything, but I figured, you know what, I'd do a series like this because I love Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption is six years old and it still holds up to this day, in my opinion. I got my water, I got my Mountain Dew, and I'm ready to play for like two hours, dude. I'm gonna shut up here so you guys can somewhat watch this. Let me know if you guys think there should be face cam or not for the next or for the next like recording session that I have. Those two, they're jerks. Spoiler alert! Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. Uh -huh. A live look at Simon's recording station. Oh crap, I thought I left the TV volume on. Not only do live people look. now have motor cars, Father, I but I heard that pretty er, see money's we will be recording able to session no, live. Did I mention Exception! Yeah, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car, a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. I don't know. Apparently. Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up <gasps> the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here as <coughs> a Burn! I don't want to be judgmental, <laughs> but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mm. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. What? There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. 
They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have. The chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me. Sure, sure, buddy. Well, yeah. here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> what? Armadillo. What? What was that thing doing in my room? Okay, let's roll. Let's roll out, boys. Ah! It's been a minute. I missed you, Red Dead. It's... When was the last time I played Red Dead Redemption? The last episode on my old channel of... Or wait, no, no. It would have been with Yahtzee. That was the last time I played freaking Red Dead Redemption. That was like a year and a, almost a half ago. Dang. This used to be my game. You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends well, from Blackboard hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends. So pleased to meet hey. you, Jake. That, I got yeah, the that. horses saddled up and ready out front. Let's roll! Can I adjust the pop filter? Okay. That lady back there was working a new age telefo- <laughs> That dude! <laughs> Somebody's drunk. Come on. Take it slow on the way out of town. No need to kick off a lot of dust. How do you? Ah, there we go. Slow it up, man. I gotta get used to controls again. What are these fools doing? Ha! My horse is better at training than yours. It didn't jump up in the air. Ha! Cool. Uh huh. That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort. No huh. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me uh -huh. saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for uh -huh. years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican mm. War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Mm. Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. Uh -huh. You know how things yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old yeah. friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old three to back to. Oh, uh, what? I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Is John trying to throw him? I can't read this conversation. I cannot read! I do. Are you planning on spending in, wait, any time in Armadillo, Mr. Martin? Uh, I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up. Oh, man, snap! Ain't we all? Yeah. <laughs> Can we just get to Fort Mercer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was the marshal who hired me, Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. <laughs> That's right. So shut up and get me there. Shooting the what? Trust me, there's things you're better off not knowing. I've heard shooting the BS. Wait, is that a? I'll tell you, Mr. Martin, it's abbreviation. It's not that bad word. BS and not far now, Mr. Martin. Uh, gabbing. I've never heard hill. chewing the dog. That's probably something bad that I'm saying right now. I'm sorry if it is. I'm sorry if you take offense to that. 
Uno. Uno. There. Listen, mister. Uh -huh. This here is what's left of ah. the Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I ah. understand. This is where we park ways, ah. friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Look at that. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Easy. Yeah, get out of here, crows. Suck. Well, I about poured Mountain Dew on myself. What happened to that one chair? Bill, I've come for you. Well, this is great. Live record. Yeah, I'm gonna record for two hours, guys. I'm not knowing that I was gonna come dump out, Mountain Dew all over myself. Out of my lip. Dang it. Go away now, John. See, this is why I should have taken a drink of the water you. instead of the Mountain Dew. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. Is... I don't have any napkins in here. You must think I was born no. yesterday. No. I think you, you were always born think the I was day before idiot. yesterday. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> got an idea. It's a dumb idea. Oh. But it's an idea. Do I look Enjoy like this cutscene. Bill, this please. This is the only time you'll they see a live chair switch you. on YouTube. You oh, never man, tried to sure. save me before. You only <laughs> seem to save yourself. This this could complicate the audio Bill, and the visual. Implore you think about this. <laughs> yep. You implore me. <laughs> you implore me. I got it. You always were one for fancy I got it. words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different like I'm gonna now, sit like John. this for a little while. Now I'm in charge. <laughs> No more Dutch. And what do you no call me? More you. He called me a Dutch. I I implore you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more. Oh! 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 No! I didn't mean to skip it. Oh! Oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Oh. Uh. Crap. I know what happens. He got shot, and this one chick came and saved him. I can promise you that's what happened. I'm sorry. I won't. I promise. I will not skip any more cutscenes for this whole game. I swear. I swear. I'm not gonna touch any more buttons. I'm just gonna see her like this. You're not doing anything, okay? Okay, yeah. See? Yeah. Just, I'm gonna put this controller down. I'm gonna put the controller down for the cutscenes. Yeah. Well, you're alive. Hey, 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 so it would seem. He got shot so inside. How do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we <laughs> use around here. What were you doing? I was. Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us fifteen dollars. Oh. That must have broke the bank. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie hey. McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance for old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him a long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. Who thinks they're gonna get up from laying down, not feel their hat at all on their head, the back of their head, what you do now? and then just like think it's now the I'm what? Gonna... Take my time and go after him the less kind way. 
Well, that sounds very fun, fun. Dr. Marston. Interesting. Quite heroic. Heroic. Just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a rant okay. to Okay. <laughs> of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Course. I'm so sorry. It's not my fault. It's a man do fault. Saved my life. I mean, blame Pepsi. Next time, Pepsi makes some. Mr. Marston, wait, right? I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it no. so earnestly. No. Yeah, it's Pepsi that makes. I'll bear that in mind. Man do. Right? Yeah. Eh, it's okay. Luke gets to be in charge. Luke. Luke. He's moving his ear. I can see him moving his ear. Luke. Oh, whatever. You're stupid. Oh wait, I should. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I should have situated myself before. You know what? We might start doing all videos like this. The only problem is, is the microphone. Hang on, let me flip this. Flip this. I don't know if this is a directional mic is the thing. It's my microphone. I know more about the microphone at our church than I know about my own microphone at home, which is sad because I've had this microphone for like five months now. Wait. Yeah, it's been five months now. Well, then again, I had my tech internship for like. Mr. Marston, back in the seven? land of the living, I see. Figured so. it's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. Yeah, that really broke your I sure bank. Sure, an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. Yeah, let's go. Bonnie totally has a crush on me. BTW. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. <laughs> I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Uh-huh. I picked out a fine horse for you. Come on, time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. Shh. Oh, I feel like that. What is that? Is that as fast as you can make your horse walk? Just a little walk right there. Not even a trot. She's not even going to trot. I'm not even going to have her horse trot. No, she's just, she's yelling at me, this is, really? We can at least try to the next location. The general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, Who puts, but it's good for the what? essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot, you can like hunt and stuff and get tons of money. Come get on, that moolah. Now I'm gonna have to yell down this here. This one's for the horses. What do you hey, think? it's pretty nice. No expert, but hey, it certainly looks like that's pretty brow. neat. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. What? Now, where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard what? to erase. You stupid. Wait, how's the... That's oh. the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Well, Bringing it looks like my audio... I don't have to worry like about yourself. my audio. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things... Oh! <laughs> there we go. Now we got a nice... What, uh, the... What's the... What's the trunk? Gallop is one. Actually, this might be a gallop. That's yeah, this the is a gallop. Over there. Uh, uh, what's himself the... When I was just a little girl. Another one. The, uh, the... I don't know. I'm looking up later for you guys. Let's stop for a while before we head out. Okay. You'll get no complaint from me, Miss McFarland. Hold on, I gotta. Your stupid horse was in my way, Miss McFarland. Come on, this is the only chance you're gonna get to rest. What? Look at the chicken! Hey! Don't give me that back talk, chicken! How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank yeah. you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can... Oh! She's trying to make the moves on me. Come into my house, and I'll give you a cold drink, and then I can show you around. I could wink. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and right other before this, she's like, ah, they stop <laughs> running around in the backyard. Ah, gotta wake them up. I want to see just. I can't show them around. Our land. <laughs> this is a fine weapon. 
Come, let's head out. I'm gonna drink my water this time. this time. That's a lesson, kids. Hey. We best get or moving. dogs. This is a dangerous time of night. For Watch. Us. What, drink water and Mountain Dew at the same time, or anything with caffeine in it, make sure to drink a bottle of water or some water shortly after it, or you're gonna, your liver's gonna be done, bro. Or is it your li liver, what is it, uh, something in your back there is gonna be screwed up. Let's go, keep your eyes open, and try not to get yourself shot. I know from a reliable source, sis, it's been like six people have told me that, so, I mean, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Feminine intuition. I mean, no, it's the, what? No, the women are the ones with the best accuracy because their hands are so steady. See, I know this crap. I was trying to become like a literally living cowboy Ooh! Oh, 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 what? Are you not Christian folk, Miss? Oh, snap! Hold on, hold on. Why can't I activate my red dead mode? I got it. I got him. Yeah, you're welcome. Where'd she go? Oh! I killed him, by the way. I didn't just scare him off. Ah! Get no scope. Bon, did you see that? Did you see that? Did you guys see that? Huh? Did you, did you guys see that? Become a lady of leisure. No scope, noobs! I'm on about to do 360 on these fools. Can I trick shot? I'm, a tr I'm so gonna trick shot. When I get red death mode, it's so trick shot. <laughs> the tr title of the video is just trick shotting your red dead redemption. Bonnie, you suck. Did I just call her Bonnie? I meant Bonnie. Don't take the chickens! Poor chicken! Poor chicken, no! How's is it like it's like your mind, your heart, your butt wait. It's I am not Catholic, I don't know how the you thing know, works. Rest in peace, life. chickens is what I'm trying to say. I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really uh -uh. come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, wait, that's wait. for sure. Ah, uh, what? It's attached to... Oh, I can't move my mic. We'll in my experience, there's no such sure thing as luck. I appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. Ah! Uh, I gotta remember to slow up on my horse. Night, girl. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of Oh, you think I was talking to Bob? No, I was talking to my Get horse. Sleep and I will see you in no. the morning. Good night, Later, Mr. what's your name? Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. I like whenever. The only compass that I need oh, is the one is back to you. And the burning blisters on my feet will call to hold me as I'm close to fall. Away from the home of your arms, I stray off the road.